and welcome into Getting Help from Uncle Sam, and we're celebrating Memorial Day. Memorial comes from the Latin word memoir, which means be mindful of, because we're going to ask you to be mindful of the sacrifices that were made that need to be remembered each and every Memorial Day in each day of our lives. We have with us Kent Davis, who is the executive director or the administrator of the Alabama Department of Veterans Affairs. Jack. Great, great to be here. Good to be with you again. Yeah. And of course, you are both. We, <laughs> you do the whole thing down there. Uh, that's right. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, we are celebrating Memorial Day in Alabama. We have got many veterans that are still alive, but more importantly, those that gave their lives so that we can celebrate this day. Yeah, you're right. There are about 400,000 veterans in the state of Alabama. That's a lot. It's uh, it almost 9% of the population of Alabama. Wow. And Memorial Day is a, an opportunity for the entire state to pause and commemorate those who lost their lives in service to their mm -hmm. country. A little different from some of the other holidays. On May 18th, we had another great celebration, Armed Forces Day, which celebrates those who are still serving in uniform. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, November 11th is Veterans Day, which celebrates the contribution of all veterans. Memorial Day is a really special day, those who paid the ultimate sacrifice in service to their country. Mm -hmm. And of course, that sacrifice could be in the form of they gave their lives or those that were in other wars. And you know, we see a lot of this right now. If you watch any television, there's an organization called Tunnels to Towers. Yeah. And they really, they've done a great job in putting a, a, a stamp and an emphasis on veterans and what veterans have done because we sometimes forget those that served and came back and they didn't come back whole. For That's, whatever reason. You're, you're right, Jack. We do tend to focus on Memorial Day, those who gave their lives, mm -hmm. but we do have veterans that really need a hand up that sometimes struggle. Most veterans are doing great in mm -hmm. life, but we know that there's a subset of veterans who do need that hand up and a little assistance getting through some of life's troubles. And we are trying more and more to reach out through veteran well-being programs to address those needs. And you do that on a day-to-day -day basis? which is amazing. We do. We say, yeah, not to sound corny, but we say we're responsible for veterans from the time they take off their uniform, literally into eternity, mm -hmm. um, including through cemetery services and things like that. But a lot of living between the time that people take off their uniform before they're ready for the for cemetery services, and we're trying increasingly to reach out with those special needs of mm -hmm. veterans through our well-being programs. And we have a lot going on with that. And I think you let the you need to let our viewers know that freedom is not just free. We you know we we take so many things for granted in the United States, and I know my audience are older folks. We understand that, but we have a lot of younger people watching also. You're right, Jack. Again, not to sound corny, but all the liberties, all the prosperity that we enjoy in this country came on the backs of those veterans, and we should never forget that, especially those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. I do worry at times that we're losing that connection between the general population and elected officials, I have to say, and the veteran population. It was common until recently, the vast majority of elected officials were veterans yes, themselves. Yes. That's changed a lot in the past few decades. And now it's maintaining that connection between the general population and elected officials is a little tough. Only about 1% of Americans serve in the military. That means there's about 99% of the population we have to educate and maintain that relationship. Yeah, they have to learn what the military really means, that it's our defense. In fact, in the United States, the number one purpose of government is defend our borders. That's right. Defend you know, us. I'm not political, but when you look across the political spectrum, I think everyone agrees one of the core functions of government is national security through the armed forces, mm -hmm. but that includes taking care of veterans when the shooting stops. You know, we are literally still taking care of World War II veterans. There's not many left, unfortunately. No. But um, that's a big part of our mission is taking care of those veterans sometimes decades after the shooting stops. Mm -hmm. And of course, for a lot of people, when they hear it's Memorial Day weekend, in their mind, top of the mind, it really means the start of summer. Yeah, This is the weekend where we start to really get into summer as opposed yeah. to really stopping and thinking all the things you're going to do in the summer and do them with ease 
is because somebody made a sacrifice for you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Memorial Day is often thought of as the first day of summer, and I tell mm -hmm. people, please that's don't true. just think of it as the first yes. day of summer and a chance to barbecue. Take a moment. To, that's why we've got you here. Well, so, and I, so I greatly can, appreciate yeah, so that. We can, so we can put a, a different face on Memorial Day, and it's the face that we really need to see. Yeah, and, and little tokens of appreciation help. You know, yes. Memorial Day is a great opportunity to grab someone that you know served in a uniform and just say, thanks for your service. Mm -hmm. That really does mean a lot to a veteran. It gives them a sense of fulfillment that someone appreciated what they did in serving this country. Mm -hmm. But there are many ceremonies and events all over the state of Alabama yeah, on Memorial can, Day. And they're, are they on your website? Uh, yeah, if people go to our website, va.alabama.gov, mm -hmm. or our Facebook page, you'll find a lot of information about events going on. We have Memorial Day events at our Veterans Cemetery down at Spanish Fort on mm -hmm. Memorial Day. All of our state veterans' homes, we have Memorial Day events, and the public is invited to all of those. But that's just a small slice. A lot of communities around the state, I'm, I'm so yes. heartened to say, yes. so many communities around Alabama have Memorial Day events and functions. I'm going to one in Fort Payne, Alabama mm -hmm. on Monday. They're opening a new Patriots Memorial Park. But that's just one small example. Well, it's great to be in Alabama because we understand. Very that, patriotic state. Very patriotic state. And remember, if you see a veteran, tell them thank you. If you see somebody in uniform, Thank them for their service, and we'll be right back right after this.